All right, here we go. It is tournament time. This is episode 13 of my American football series here on FM19. I am, of course, still with Michigan State, and we have qualified for the first round of the NCAA tournament. We will be playing against Big Ten Conference rivals Indiana. We did defeat Indiana earlier this season. It was a pretty tight game, but... River Dunwell scored the uh, match-killing goal in the 76th minute, and we defeated Indiana at Indiana 2 to nothing. This match will be at home at DeMartin Stadium, and, well, it's going to be an interesting match. So um, without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the, to the live comp. So no major changes in my starting 11. Still going with my uh, my front three of Moore, Dunwell, and Del Campo. Those are my three most... They've proven to be my three most lethal attacking players. I do have Cantu playing the number 10. One change is at the number 8, uh, where I've got Martinez. I, I've dropped Jones down. I feel like Martinez just gives me a little more attacking oomph, which I kind of need. I, I feel good about our defensive organization right now, but I do. I feel like our front five needs somebody to help get that ball from the back to my front three. And so Martinez is going to slot into that role. And back four remains the same. Bryant recovered mostly from his injury. He's still lacking a little match sharpness, but we're going to roll with him today. And hopefully we will get a win here in the first round and advance on. The NCAA tournament, it's it's a one-off. Uh, it's a knockout competition, one leg. So it's it's win or go home today. All right, here we go. Indiana in all red with a white sash. I'm white, green, white, my home kits. And right away, starting well, Bryant winning the ball. And we build our, we start our first attack. And then we get nothing. Indiana is absolutely controlling this game. We do get our first shot there. Moore heads it over the bar, but that's... We are not playing well. We do seem to pick things up since I switched to a more positive, to a more attacking... Um, set up. Yeah, not a good first half. We did um, Indiana controlled possession for most of the first part of the first half. We have kind of finally started getting the ball down to our feet, knocking it around. We put it, created a couple shots, but not really much going on. So we've got to make that better. All right. So after a poor first half, let's see if we can't make something happen here. Might be my... T oh, are we getting a second yellow on Cabar Caballero? And it is. So we have a man advantage now. Let's see if we can't make something of that. Free kick wide. Martinez heads it home. And I look like a genius bringing him in for Frank Jones. And we are now up one to nothing. After a very poor first half... Because we were pretty well organized in the back, we've managed to put things back together, and now we're up 1-0. All right, plays it all the way back to Molina, the keeper. Let's see if we can't get this ball get a second goal here. Ramirez scoops it up. Johnson back to Bernero. I do have a yellow card situation, so in about 10 minutes of game time here, I might start looking to sub some of these guys out. I don't want to I want to uh, lose my man advantage. Ooh, nice ball to Del Campo, and Moore finishes it. It's 2-0. We are, we look like we're going to be moving on. Got to hold this lead for 40 minutes, but I feel pretty good about that with a man advantage. up to their version of Bernero. They have a winger Bernero. I have a defender Bernero. All right. I'm going to need to demand... Uh-oh. Oh, boy. They pulled one back. All right. Let's demand more. Cross. Yeah. My right, right back. Just let the guy get behind him. Got to wake up. Wake up. Ooh, ball goes wide. Let's, let's bring that back to balance. Keeper sends it long. Whew. 
Let's, let's go cautious. Johnson clears the box. Weese's shot is saved. So he clears to the box, crosses into the box. One minute. Johnson attacks Weiss, lays it for Weiss on the left. Weiss's cross is blocked and gathered up by Jackson of Indiana. And back to our back line, and we have it once again. And now we're having the passing drill on the right. <clears throat> back to Soria. Soria sends it long to Ansel. Ansel's favorite kind of ball, but he loses it immediately. And that is it. Not a great performance. Um, need need to see better from the boys if we're going to be able to win this NCAA tournament. Only nine shots, five are on target, and obviously we scored two. But that is we have that has got to be better. Mm. Uh, Indiana came out played well, but probably where they lost the match was when they had the send the man sent off. They did get a goal after with a, playing a man down, but. We um, yeah, did not play well. Didn't create much going forward. So i am got to look at that. All right, here we go. This is round two of the NCAA tournament. There are 32 teams left. I'm playing against California, a Pac-12 school. And I've gone with the same starting 11. Haven't changed anything to try and, um, well, keep our momentum going. Hopefully we play better in this match. I haven't really changed anything tactically, but I'm I'm... Watching closely in the beginning. So uh, Cal is in the um, blue with the yellow trim. And I, of course, white, green, white in my home kits. And we get a corner. Second minute. See if we can make something happen here. Martinez puts it in the box. Moore heads it over. So all for naught. Free kick outside the area. And oh, we got a penalty. We got a penalty. Apparently somebody was fouled. It didn't show the replay of the penalty, but Johnson puts it away, and we're up one nothing. All right, so we're going to make things interesting. Fourth minute now. Cal's got to open up. they got to come at me. Otherwise, they are going down. All right, Cal has the ball in our half. Starting with a throw-in. Oh, but Del Campo wins it, and we're off to the races. Pulls it back, lays it back to fullback Ramirez, who switches field to Moore, whose shot is saved by the keeper. We have a long throw to Del Campo. To Cantu, shot is saved. That was a good shot. Good save by the keeper. Cleared from the box. Might have been a cross. Ramirez, long throw. They're back out to Ramirez. Del Campo has a dangerous spot and goal. We are up 2 0 in the first 20 minutes. All right, Indiana made. Indiana got back into it after falling down 2 0. Let's see if we can kind of. Stomp on their throats here. Really put this thing away. Johnson outside the area. Back to Martinez, whose shot is wide. Goal kick. Keep my uh, assistant tells me they're a little more narrow. That typically means a more defensive approach. So, uh, a little afraid to oblige. We'll leave it as is for now. Del Campo attacks. Ooh, shot off the post. Keeper gathers it up. Ramirez in the middle to Cantu. Cantu drops it back to Rob Bryant. Bryant gets it back to the middle and nothing cleared away. Cal has a chance here. Soria has to make his first big save of the match. All right, so halftime. I'm up two to nothing. Goals from Larry Johnson from the penalty spot and then Del Campo added the second insurance goal in the 19th minute. We've um, we have definitely been the better team, looking a lot better than we did in the first round. Uh, ten shots on target. Their keepers had to make some pretty amazing saves to keep the score where it is. So, not going to make any changes. Going to keep things going. I will start subbing guys off to try and um, limit injuries to my key players. Try to keep guys fit as we go into what will next be the round of sixteen. Soria gathers up what was a hopeful ball in the box. Sends it out right to Cowling. Cowling attacks the space a little. Back to Johnson. Johnson leaves it for Cowling again, who... Deep cross, but once again, the keeper is there to save the header. We won 14 corners to their two. 
And all of that comes from cow blocking our crosses. Kim into the box, but on sale shot is blocked. Uh, the Campo shot is blocked. Johnson's shot saved by the keeper on the free kick. And now we're just going to see at the last minute. This will be the last kick of the ball, probably. Johnson puts it into the box. It is headed clear, and that is the match. So, 2 to nothing. Michigan State defeats California in the second round of the NCAA tournament. We're now off to the Sweet 16, as it's called in college tournament sports. So, we will be back to see who our opponent is there. All right, here we go. Big match. Round of 16. Uh, against Rutgers. Rutgers is in the red and white hoops. I am in the white, green, green. And <clears throat> right away we can get a nice, uh, get a foul, get, a, get an attack started. And they get a yellow card the 30 seconds in. <clears throat> um, long cross into the area is cleared out. Every kick Johnson blocked, but it deflects out for a corner for us. Johnson to take the corner. Martinez is back to Bryant. And we have a goal. Matt Bryant, the fullback, scores. All right, a rare goal from a fullback. Yeah, just a shot to the far corner. Boom. Campo, and we have two. It was really kind of a quick counter. Gonzalez gives the ball away, and... Del Campo does it all himself. Dribbles through the back line, and we have a 2 0 lead. All right. Ball across to Del Campo, who attacks, and Dunwell makes it three. We look pretty good so far. <clears throat> Doing well in the snow. Yes, nice shot from Dunwell on the short little cross there from Del Campo. 3 0. Yeah, it's snowing. Uh, Michigan is obviously in the north, in the north part of the United States, and we are in December. The NCAA tournament takes place in December, November, December, when the weather starts to turn. And so we're seeing that here. <clears throat> Indiana's going to have to start coming forward, and whoa, get out. That was a little too close for comfort. I think our guys are starting to lose our focus a little bit. Johnson free kick into the area. It is headed out, cleared out. However, it got out, it's out. Martinez shot from about 20 yards, and we are up 4 0. This is probably the kind of result that we should be getting. Nice shot. But Johnson, the free kick, and it's in. Keeper couldn't make the save right before the whistle. We are going into the half with a 5-0 lead on Indiana. So it's halftime. We're up 5-0. That's pretty resounding. Um, first half went pretty well. I'm not crazy about the possession numbers, but I'm trying not to look at it because conditions, um, the way Indiana's sort of playing. So, um, so yeah, we'll take it. 5-0. And I think, too, I think when you score a lot of goals, it does bring your possession down. Obviously, I still don't want to be under 50%, but... And so here we go. Start the second half. 5-0. Just try and put this thing away. All right, about an hour in, and we're still up 5-0. Looking good for our lead. Gonzalez. For Indiana. Indiana might be ready to just kind of let this thing go. And Gonzalez finally hoops it long to our back line. And foul from behind. That could be it for Lyons. Lyons, he is gone. Second yellow card. So Indiana trails 5 nothing, And we now have a man advantage. Del Campo outside the area with a free kick. Can't find anybody for the finish. Del Campo again. Cross is blocked. Renero. It's Bryant on the left. It's Weiss. Bryant crosses it in to the far post, but nobody's there. Del Campo's cross, headed by Weiss over the goal, stays 5 0. All right, so looks like we're going to get through here with a pretty dominant performance. We did really, we pushed the possession back to our side for the second half. 
Probably helped a little bit by a red card, but we'll... And that's it. So, five to nothing. Easy win over Rutgers, a Big Ten rival. Um, they did have a man sent off, but we already had our big lead. We had all five of our goals before that, so maybe a little disappointing we didn't add to that. Uh, just look at the stats. I'd say the stats you know, fairly reflect the score, although I'm curious uh, who's doing the math because we had 56% possession to Rutgers is 45. So apparently there was 101% of possession to be had, but hey, whatever. Great result. Next up, the quarterfinals, the Elite Eight, as we try to make it to the College Cup semifinal. All right, Elite Eight, here we go. Michigan State versus Louisville. I am at home at the Martin Stadium against the Louisville Cardinals. Louisville has a pretty strong program, at least in the history of uh, NCAA soccer. And so I anticipate a tough game. This isn't going to be easy. Um, coming off of a, a pretty big 5-0 result over Rutgers. But let's be honest, we had a pretty big fitness advantage. So uh, Louisville, I expect them to make, to make this difficult for us. So very excited about this. This is our chance to make it to the Final Four, to advance to the semifinal, and which would be a pretty big accomplishment for our first season with Michigan State. Okay, so Louisville in all red. I am in white, green, white. And here we go. Johnson with the free kick to the left. And the header goes to Birding, forces the save from the keeper. Okay, that's looking better. There is free. Lays it across. Here we go. Moore now attacking space. Crosses it in. And Del Campo is there for the finish. More to Del Campo. That has become quite a lethal combination. I don't think Moore was trying to get it over there, but you know what? Del Campo fell to his feet. Said, hey, I know what to do with this, and we're up one nothing. Johnson with a dangerous tackle, but he wins it. Up to Dunwell, who's there. Shot is over the bar. Wilson from Louisville with a yellow card. Johnson puts it in the box, and I think we have a penalty. We do. I think Johnson will be taking it. He is, and easily, easily puts it home, passes it to the back of the net, and we have a 2-0 lead. And it's halftime, so we're up 2-0, and pretty much we've controlled this thing. Um, got 11 shots. They've not had a single shot. Um, so that is pretty, that's about as close to complete dominance as you can get. Um, we do only have 55% possession. Um, not, that's not great, but I have, I've turned, I'm going to, I've turned off, um, work ball into the box, play out of defense as I'm in the snow. I'm really just trying to do whatever, have the guys do whatever they have to do to get the ball, um, into the net. And I got to say it's working so far. So. Yes, 2-0 over Louisville. We'll play the second half and see how that goes. See if we can advance to the Final Four. So here we go. 2-0 lead. 45 minutes. Ramirez to Johnson. Martinez plays it across. And we have another red card. Yep, second yellow. Um, <laughs> I think... And at least two of our other NCAA tournament matches. We the other teams had a player sent off. So hey, we'll take it. We're not gonna we're not gonna argue. Moore on the takes the ball in the corner. And Louisville commits a couple tackles. Oh, did Del Campo get injured? It was just subbing him out. Lenny chests the ball down, and here we go. Puts it up to Dunwell, who can't bring it down. Long ball, gathered up by Ramirez. Johnson to Jones, to the Johnson, Ramirez. And I have obviously put the work ball uh, into box back on. Ramirez's cross is out for a corner. And Johnson puts a cross in. Oh, and we have a third. If it stands, it looks like it's going to. Steve Weiss, Weiss, I don't know how to pronounce that, but I'm, I'm guessing Weiss. 
Ball was saved by the keeper, but it fell to Weiss's feet. I'm going to try and just wrap this thing up here. Booth. Pilar up to Weiss. Weiss. Johnson, who is his ball blocked. Kim gathers it in, sends it to Daniel Johnson, who heads it over the goal. Ansel pulls it down. This pass is not on target, but Kim gathers it. Hard to Kim. Oh, I think we're about to have another. Yep. Louisville just had their second player sent off. So I'm going to increase the width in the passing. Try and make them run around a little bit. Akpatu. Jones. Jones up to Booth. Booth drops it back to Akpatu. Up to Cowling. Cowling lays it across to Jones. He sends it back to Cowling. Cowling's crossed into the box. Headed down by Ansel to Weiss, but Weiss puts it over the bar. And Ansel is injured. That's good. Of course we get an injury in stoppage time of a game where we are easily in control. Well, guess what, Woodthorpe? You get to go play striker from your... You normally play left back. Go find us a goal. Moves up to Johnson. Johnson lays it back to the keeper. This has got to be over. We're in the... I think start the sixth minute of four minutes of stoppage. <laughs> Woodthorpe. Oh, I thought Woodthorpe was going to get himself an assist. Playing a striker. He is normally a center back. And Ref is refusing to blow the whistle on this thing. Cross out the cowling. Almost a goal there for Wilson. I don't understand why the referee... I don't... What is the point? We're up by three. They're, we got two men up. We have the ball in their area. Why are you not blowing the whistle to end this game? And there it is. Okay, so 3-0 win. Dominant performance. Obviously, the two players being sent off in the second half ended any chance that Louisville was going to have. And so now we are on our way to the Final Four, what they call the College Cup. So... We have drawn Houston Baptist for the College Cup semifinal for the NCAA National Championship. Well, I think what I'm going to do is call that there, and we'll let the next episode be the final four. Well, and maybe it's just one game, right? Maybe Houston beats me, and that'll be the only uh, live con we have in that episode. And we'll let this episode be the, um, the rounds leading up to the final four. So, um yeah, good episode. Drop a like if you have any comments, questions, um, suggestions. By all means, leave them in the comments. But this is Uncle Sam signing off, and I will see you at the College Cup at Wake Med Park in North Carolina.